a super special episode of Henny Tea today. I'm not giving y'all no extra tea, no fluff. We getting straight into it with my girl, Miss Razor Behavior, okay? Hey, <laughs> so tell them about yourself. Introduce yourself. Say hey, I'm girl, Big Razor. Razor Behavior here, Monique. Y'all already know who I am. The biggest of the biggest. <laughs> um, salon owner of one now, not two, and salon owner with the boutique inside. Of RB Collections. Period. So make sure y'all check out all my girl stuff, her Thank boutique. You. And I've been wearing bobs by razors. <laughs> Look, I don't know how long. Since I was in like fresh out of high school. Yes. So tell them how you got the name Razor because it's such a unique name. Yeah. So I got it for one in jail and then two when I was in um, hair school. So it kind of mixed, if that makes okay. sense. So in hair school, is that's where I got razor behavior because I started cutting hair with a razor mm-hmm. before shears. So they was like, girl, you be razor all day. Really? Like, you need to learn how to cut with shears. And, of course, I learned how to cut for real in jail because all we had was razors. But nobody really knew the secret. But I don't like saying that. So technically, hair school. So, what And then my behavior, I was always bad, you. attitude was crazy. So it's like your behavior has to change. In high school, you were something. Yeah. <laughs> See? <laughs> it was. I was always off the chain. So it just went. It just went with me. So how long have you been doing hair? Nine years. Nine years? Mm-hmm. It feels like so much longer. It feels than so much that. longer. Well, I've been licensed for nine years. Ten years will be in August. So yeah. I say see what my girl is about. Cause <laughs> we lost the hair recipes. We've lost yeah. the hairstylist recipes. My girl gonna wash her hair, she's gonna blow dry. Yes. She's gonna braid it. I'm all down braid it down. With the yes. Natural hair care, good hair care. I'm not with none of that come shampoo, blow dry. Oh, she's I'm the not with the new style. She be like, mm. Yeah, well, we're not doing finger waves today because your hair isn't all the way relaxed. And da-da-da. I just be like, I can't stand coming here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have rules. I follow the rules. So how would you say you stay successful owning your own business and being like an entrepreneur? And so many people are hairstylists. But how do you keep like your unique vibe about your brand? Staying consistent. Um, that's one. Praying for two and just engaging with my clients Mm -hmm. like um I have like an automatic text thing like making sure that they understand like hey it's time for a touch-up it's time for you know how you doing stuff like that but being consistent with my brand um trending with the social media when I tell you I'm like trying my best to get with these reels and stuff like that because it wasn't like that back in the day yeah so you know, staying on trend, um, taking classes still, um, asking even more people who've been in the game longer than me for advice mm-hmm. and stuff like that. So that's really it. Okay, the girls need to take <laughs> advice from you. Yes, take advice. So um, why did you choose to go on Baddies? When you DM me, she sent me the flyer, y'all. Mm-hmm. She like, I'm going. I'm like, you're going where? <laughs> and she like, I'm going. I'm like, I okay. Remember that. <laughs> yeah. I honestly really want to just step out in faith. I was like, I always want to do TV. I always wanted to try something different. I think everybody watched Bad Girls Clubs back in the day when it was on Oxygen. So I was like, this is my time. Like, let me just try something different. Like, I did everything I needed to do here in the DMV. Like, I opened my shop. I launched my boutique. I did try rapping. You I said, we got enough haters here. Yeah. Let's get them international. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I, tried, I was like, let's let's take it all away. So I literally tried out, and it was by the faith of God, y'all, because it was so many fucking people at that fucking audition. I was like, it's no way I'm making this shit. Because it was just so many, but the way that my auditions went, it was like God already knew. Like, girl, you got this. Babe, I thought maybe that they <laughs> saw you on Instagram and they picked you out the crowd. I literally was standing in the line. I'm not even going to I stood in the line, and I can't say his name, but How long did me. you stay in the line? 10 minutes? 11 minutes? I was on the phone with my best friend the whole entire time, and I was like, mm-hmm. um, somebody just called me out the line. Let me call you right back. Ooh, the he was like, come out here. there for 24 hours. Yes, they was. And they cheers, they heels. I knew I wasn't going to make it, and I had on red bottoms. I knew I, I was wasn't going to make it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, there's no way I'm doing this. But he called me, and literally, I was in VIP the whole time. So I didn't go through none of the stuff that the other girls went through. No shade, but you know what it is. It's, I didn't go through 
the other judges, what was it, Jam- what is her name? Janisha. Jan- Janisha, Scotty. I didn't go through, Roly. I didn't go in front of none of them. Okay. So I didn't meet none of those cast members until it was time for me to go in the house. Oh, okay. So that, <laughs> that was kind of like, you know, weird for me too because they was like, oh, you're the girl from the auditions. And I was like, finally I get to meet y'all because I didn't get that chance. Because my girl creates viral moments <laughs> from did. the auditions to the show. Okay, we're going to get into that. <laughs> so tell me how, um, so you basically telling us how the auditions uh, auditions went. So what about being casted, that callback and knowing that you're going to be on Baddies West? <laughs> I literally was coming back from Jamaica. So I was on the plane and they was like, hey, this is Zeus. And I was like, I'm literally landing. Can y'all give me five minutes? I'm gonna call y'all right back. And they was like, uh, and I was like, call you they right ain't back. Never met a busy bitch. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? So I was like, call y'all right back. I'm landing. So I literally called back in probably like ten minutes. Mm-hmm. Literally walking off the plane. I was like, yes, this is Monique. And they was like, we just want to let you know you made baddies sweats. And I literally screamed. It was me and my boyfriend. And he was looking at me like, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> like, cause honestly, to keep it real, like he didn't expect it, I didn't expect it. It was just like it was something that she wanted to do. I'ma support her. Mm-hmm. But he was just like, what? And then when they told me the time frame I had to leave, he was like, hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. You mean like in a month, like in a couple of weeks you're leaving? I was like, yeah, I'm gonna be gone. And he was just like, you know, trying to get his you life know, together. He was like, that don't make no sense. <laughs> yeah, so. It is what it is. Okay, so I'm going to rewind a little bit because yeah. I want to know why you went to jail. I'm asking for me. I'm not asking for the comment. I knew it was coming. No, because... I knew it was coming. Because, you know, this is my girl, so, like, the people want to, like, argue mo- raise argue the facts. Me down. Yes. Raise the facts with me. So let me break it down. Yes, I was in jail for an amount of time for two years, but not. I did not do the whole two years together. Does mm-hmm. that make sense? Okay, so the reason why me going to jail is that I stabbed my stepfather. Um, and I was a juvenile at the time, and my mom testified against me in court. And throughout the testify, when she testified against me in court, basically, she gave her rights away to the government. To basically, they had the choice to say, "Hey, you can go live with somebody, or you're going to basically go to juvenile center." At the time, my grandmother was like older; she didn't have the proper care to take care of me. She had to literally get a lawyer to say, "I can take care of her," because she had COPD, which is like a real bad breathing problem. Long story short, basically, um, I had to stay in jail until she can get the lawyer. That whole process. Okay. So I was literally in there almost a year until she got the lawyer. She finally got the lawyer. I was in her custody now. Mm -hmm. Um, Throughout that time, I had to be on house arrest. This is when I started going to WISE. I was on house arrest. So literally, my 11th grade year, I was on house arrest the whole time. So I violated my probation. Yeah, because you was fighting. Fighting. <laughs> <laughs> this is my witness. Fighting. I was smoking. I went through that whole little weed phase, and I violated my probation, and they gave me a warning. And, you know, I went through a lot of depression living with my grandmother because, don't get me wrong, I'm grateful for her. I'm grateful for what she did, but it just wasn't the best home for me to grow up. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. For me to find out, is this for me to act, get my act together. So of course I was still in the streets, I was still doing what the fuck I wanted to do, and that came with curfew, and I didn't want to abide by curfew. And that one time that my ankle braces started going off, I'm thinking, you know, I'll just, they would probably give me another warning. And nope, I went back to prison. Oh, wow. And that was that, and then I had to finish basically my whole probation out in juvenile center. And then once I finished my juvenile center, they let me go. But I was still on probation when I came out with just no house arrest. Am I the first person you told this to? No. I'm about to say, I ain't seen this on no other interview, so just pretend no. like you ain't telling your stuff. <laughs> no, but that's the truth, but yeah. So, but I didn't, that was another thing, because a lot of people got it confused that, damn, how'd she go to jail two because years and I know her? You know like, like, they've known you. you yeah. That was before we knew you. Yes, this was literally my juvenile, but going into my adult, you know, my adulthoods, but I didn't really have a childhood in order for me to enjoy it. So a lot of the things that I do as an adult is kind of like me saying, finally, I get to fucking do it. You get what I'm saying? But you know how that shit is. Right? Well, I hope you enjoying all the things I am. that shit. Um, you Living missed out on. Life. <laughs> Living my best life. Did you ever um, imagine yourself on reality TV or it was just a spur of the moment thing? I mean, I always watch Bad Girls Club, so it was like... 
finding me. I want they to cut it off before yeah. I go. <laughs> and I, I mean, don't get me wrong. When I turned eighteen, I ain't gonna lie. I did try to sign up, but I ain't had shit that for them to even look at. I wasn't really on MySpace, Facebook, or none. Of, I wasn't really on social media like that until I really started to branch my career off. I really wasn't like that, so. Mm-hmm. I was like, fuck it. This is my opportunity. You know how you always in the house watching TV? Like, yeah. finally I get to do some shit. So. All right, y'all. So, this is something super near and dear to my heart. My girl, Kay Bizzle, in the mix with KB. She makes the best drinks, y'all. And I know everybody's always looking for a bartender for, like, events. Or even if you want to get some pre-made drinks for your event. Or even if you're trying to see somebody at a at a bar, okay? My girl works at Twisted Crab and Bowie, if you're looking for her. But she made me strawberry lemon drops and lemon drops for me and my guests today. And they're amazing. Like, baby, you know, it's no, oh, I need extra triple sack. I need extra syrup. No, just right. Make sure you check out In The Mix With KB and all her social media below. Thank you. Okay, we moving on to the show. <laughs> Moving on to the juice, to the thick of it. (laughs) So how was overall your reality TV experience rated uh, 1 through 10? One being the worst. An 8. Okay, why would you rate it an 8? Because I was myself. I was who I was. So it was just like, I wouldn't change it. I'm happy that I got that experience and I'm happy that, you know, Some things didn't go in my favor. Let me say that. Of course not. And that's another reason why I'm here, too. I want to be in control of my own narrative. I don't want anybody else to have the narrative of who I am. (laughs) No, seriously. So it's just like I'm grateful for that, and I'm happy I did it. Would I do it again? Yes. Maybe for another network? Yes. Maybe for Zeus again? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's just not my calling right now. But I'm happy that I got the experience to get kind of like get my feet wet, like, Okay, now I know what to do, what not to do, the people to know, the people that I shouldn't be fucking with, like all that type of shit. So it's just a learning experience. And I feel like everybody still go through learning experience. And I hate the internet that be seeming like, oh, you sh- if I was in her shoes, but you're not. <laughs> you didn't get a chance to be in my shoes. You That's know what why I took the time out to send you like positive stuff people were saying. You did. Because you, did. you were a fan favorite and some people being on reality TV for like 10 years and they never go viral like you do. Mm-hmm. So I hope that you know that like, yeah, okay, yeah. a bitch may have made fun of me because <laughs> I got a little drunk, but you was going viral every week if it was not if it was just for your face or something you said. So you... Right. You did the damn thing. Thank you. So how do you feel <laughs> about soon as you soon as everybody in this area found out Ray's was going on TV? <laughs> the girls oh was God. on Twitter chatting. They... Okay, so how do you feel about <sighs> people from here taking whatever they think they know about you here and putting that on you before you even got to hit the screen? They <laughs> they already chew me up. Let me say that. They chew me up, but I feel like now they are gagging. Because it's to the point, some of the b- bitches who don't even like me, kids reposting me on TikTok. And you get to say shit like that. So at the end of the day, it's kind of just like a smack in the face. Like, bitch, I'm always going to be on top. So it's just like, it don't really bother me. It do in sometimes. Like, I'm like, damn, why they saying that? But then at the same time, I'm just like, who cares? I really don't give a fuck. Literally. I be snitching. Yeah. <laughs> I really I just snitching. don't care. I be unbothered. So how was um, the cast, the crew, and security? <laughs> the cast, um, I had my fair share. Um, overall, beside the ones that, fuck that. Even the ones I got into it with, they still cool. I'm cool with them. Like, I'm cool with them on my own level. Like, meaning if I see them in the streets, I wouldn't even look past them because that's how unbothered I am by their energy or who they are. Doesn't mean that I wish them bad. I actually wish everybody the best, you know what I'm saying, because I'm not going to get no blessings like that by hating on another bitch. I'm not a hater. Um, don't get me wrong. But at the end of the day, I wish that some of them will fix certain ways of who they are as a person, but it takes a different person or a different vibe or a different environment for them to learn themselves, mm-hmm. well, learn that about themselves. Um, as far as the security, <laughs> they didn't security. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't. Secure. They didn't. They wasn't secure. I feel like they secure who they wanted to secure. They listened to who they needed, who was paying them checks. Okay. So, and I can't be mad at that either. Whoever write their checks, they're going to listen to them. So, you know how that go. Okay. Yeah. So, who was your favorite cast member and why? My favorite? Me. 
Besides <laughs> okay. you. Okay. Um, my favorite, my favorite, my favorite. Tommy. I feel like you're low-key Tommy's favorite. Uh, no, low-key, no, because I was watching Tommy was my favorite. And she was talking about the girls that do looks. And she mm. was like, raise them. Yeah. <laughs> no. I, no. I think it's a Gemini thing, too. Like, you know how you can connect with somebody mentally without having to say it? Mm -hmm. Like, that's how it is. Like, I don't got to be in her face and be like, you my bitch, you my bitch. It's kind of like a vibe. Like, if we was out in the club, if I seen somebody fucking with her, I'm going to be like, bitch, you see what's going on? Like, it's kind of like a, a I thing or kind of like a vibe with me. Like, she was just cool. And, you know, us Gemini's, we A lunatic. <laughs> yes. We brought people the wrong I way. <laughs> Literally, we're crazy. And that's why I like her. I like her. I love her for who she is. And she always be my bitch, you know. Least favorite cast member. And why? Biggie. Why is such? <sighs> a good heart. She has a good heart. She has a great heart. Very sweet girl. She never, she's just annoying in ways that I feel like a lot of people can relate. It's just not me. I don't want people to be saying, oh, Raisin said she's, an no, it's a lot of people could say that she's just annoying. She has annoying ways, but I think it also comes with her age and um, I don't know too much about her background. I don't know if she's, she gives me only child syndrome. So when she's around women or around other girls, she just she leeches on them like she's just like I'm just happy to be around. I'm an only child. I don't. I don't. I don't relate. Okay. 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 Well, I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> she <laughs> she annoys me in ways that I feel like it annoyed a lot of people, even Tommy. Like I seen her snap a couple of times. They just be like, just hold on, give me a second, or you know what I'm saying. But maybe she just needs a little bit more big sister love from either her or somebody else for her to understand the ways. I don't know. But she just wasn't my favorite. I actually thought she was going to be different. She's going to give me that rough, you know? Like, <laughs> she's going to give me that, that like, you know, like, she didn't give me that. She was literally like, teddy bear. It was a Spanglish for me. Yes, that too. Like, just speak English. You know everybody don't. Natalie Betty speaks Spanish. You Like, it doesn't. Who else speaks Spanish? I don't. Of course. I was literally having my translator like, okay, what's it? I asked Love, like, what does that mean? <laughs> Love was like, bitch, I don't know. <laughs> so. I'm crying. Yeah. So what would you say is, like, a lesson learned from the whole show? Hmm. I'm going light on you right now. I'm at the next questions, baby. <laughs> Buckle up your Oh, throat. my God. <laughs> what is that? Huh. Maybe my cup. Maybe. Why would you say that you act out like that? Because people be fucking with me. It's not, it's not, it's not that. That just enhances it. Okay, the name Razor, for an example. I'm always Razor. But I turn into Blade or like crazy when you fuck with me. They Do you get what I'm saying? Your name should have been Razor Blade. Yes. It's like like you fucking with me. Like you antagonizing me. You trying me. You think I'm weak. You think like cause I'm pretty or I might not say much. Cause I come off quiet. Or I might come off I don't really I'm not interested in conversation sometimes. Doesn't mean I don't like you. It's just I'm not interested. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean that I may not want to be interested in the next conversation, but this time I may not want to be. But don't keep poking and poking and poking because I'ma just snap. And then now they're like, what the fuck? You get what I'm saying? It's not that. It's just you have to understand me first or get to know me before you start jumping the gun. And that's what kind of, I'm coming with your questions. The situation with Scotty because she jumped the gun. You get that what I'm saying? You didn't, even, you didn't even get the chance to say, hey, how you doing? We probably spoke a little bit in the house as if like, oh, I like your shoes. We got the same shoes or some shit like that. But it was never like. Y'all had some of the same shoes? We did. We had one pair of sneakers the same. Mm. <laughs> Continue. But that was that was it. <laughs> and um it was just really like you didn't even get the chance to really get to know me for you to act the way you did. Now what a lot of people didn't know, Krishan took the time to actually get to know me before we even felt that scene. She came up to me, Hi, you are so pretty. My name is Krishan. Like literally, like 
trying to get to know me. Like, so you when from? people you from are me? saying, oh, Krishan was touching her, but she didn't get mad. Exactly. Mm-hmm. She actually, or we already built something far as like, okay, she actually cool as shit. So even if I did get drunk, I felt more comfortable with her instead of Scotty because of some of that. We already shared a, like, oh, okay, you from, your people's from Baltimore or, okay, I know such and such, you know such and such. It's just like that. You didn't even take the time. You just jumped and gone, oh, she pretty. Let me just start touching on you. No, baby girl, hold your horses. We not doing that. Because I don't know you from a can of paint. And then it's just like, I don't know what type of shit you already on. Then you barely in the house. I don't know where you been at. So it's already even more irritating. So that's that, but. Mm. But that's the real reason of the why. The people. <laughs> the people. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> the people had a couple of different inferences of what they thought it was. Some mm-hmm. people were screenshotting saying that they were laughing at plastic surgery scars, which. I don't think that was ever a thing. I'm right? not ashamed of my plastic surgery. I'm about to say you said that. The so then the second thing was about a tattoo. And then the okay. third thing was, okay, maybe she's triggered. But I think that you really just need to let the people know that you just wasn't fucking with that girl like that at yes. that moment. One, it wasn't the scars because I talk about my surgery on interviews to people. They ask me. I don't mind sharing it. I don't care that much. Two, um, the tattoo, it was more so like, if I don't want to show that tattoo, it wasn't that I didn't want to show that tattoo. It was just more so that she was touching me in that spot, which was right here by, like, my pussy area, point mm-hmm. my period. And you like, what's that tattoo? I don't want to show you that tattoo. That was me pushing her off. And then the triggers was more so, like, I already told you more than twice. So that third time, I snapped. Mm-hmm. And then I only that, yes, it was looking for. I didn't drink the whole bottle. Y'all in here doing other type of shit. I don't do sugar booger. I don't smoke weed. I don't do I don't do none of that type of shit. So the therefore it's just like I drink. I don't know what else to do. What else y'all want me to do? Sit here and just Yeah. You said they were inebriated. <laughs> Bitch, I was just a neat. I, I don't know who was doing what, but they wasn't just off cost meals because I was practically drinking the whole bottle, as y'all can see. Me and Krishan. Were you very upset when Stunner mm-hmm. threw that bottle? Very. Very. That is a whole bottle of liquor. Y'all know how I feel about liquor. And then not only that, it was my bottle. So I was a little bit hot, but it's okay. Okay, so why did you say, so once y'all got in the house, after you and Scotty had, and do you, before we get to that, do you mm-hmm. believe that editing is edited to make certain people mm-hmm. look better. A hundred percent. They, don't wanna, they your, do not want to spoil the pretty girl. On your fight. outro, they showed a different um, angle of you and Scotty's fight that they didn't show before. So I was making sure that people saw that. Mm-hmm, y'all make sure y'all saw this angle. <laughs> <laughs> Total different one, but it's okay. That's why I say it's, it's okay. It's TV. I don't take anything personal there. I don't. Well, that's good. I was worried. People know who got, you know. So why did you say I stole your best friend to Scotty? It was literally just to make her mad. Because I knew, I know how she feels about Natalie. Like, she feels, that's, you know, that's her girl. I get it. But they have a different type of bond that nobody would ever understand. And I'm not here to figure it out. So it was really just to make her upset because I was getting irritated about the fight situation. Like, security, how they was going about the situation. Even her, like. That was just annoying. So what was the time span of this thing? Because from being on the bus to getting in the house, how did you maintain that anger? (laughs) (laughs) The anger was more so just me having to calm down. Like, mm. Ain't that your friend? Ain't that your friend. (laughs) Literally. Find her. I I had to literally get myself together. But by that time, the liquor had settled in. I probably already took about seven more shots. Before I can even see her again. So at this point, I'm amped up. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm just more, even more irritated that how they was going about it. They was showing favoritism, you know. But I understand this is my first rodeo. So I had to just kind of, like, follow the rules. Like, it is what it is. It's time for you to, you know, show them who the fuck you are. So that's when I had, you know, approached her. And I'm just like, man, run up. Like, I'm just tired of the talking shit. I'm tired of people, you got to go in here. You got to do this. I'm not doing that. I'm going to do what Ray wants to do, Monique wants to do. So that's how that happened. So let's talk about Stunner. <laughs> Ball Stunner. I was like, girl. We, well, we girls didn't on fight. Roll. Yes, we didn't fight. It was a tussle, like, boop, boop, snatch my wig. Like that. On the PJ. On the PJ. And you didn't care about being on the No, I did fight. not. You go a lot of places a year. You did not care. No. So why, what do you think mm-hmm. that egg that on at that point once I was on the PJ I already knew like 
oh, okay. This is the type of shit we on. Just okay, y'all got money for the, y'all to fix the problem. So she's the problem. Fix it. That's how I looked at it. Because at the end of the day, all I was just saying, maybe, yeah, I should have never told her she wasn't the one to want to listen. Cool, got it. And that's my bad. And the difference between me and a lot of women, including herself, I can say, you know, that's my bad. All right. I should have never, you know, pointed it out or kept going or antagonizing her. And I couldn't, uh, you know, admit that. But at the end of the day, not a lot of women going to admit they're wrong. Like, what was your purpose of, even if you felt like that, you should have just been like, all right, Razor, like, I get it. She don't have that. That's I, I can see. I can see that. But that, I didn't, you know, at that moment, I didn't think that. I thought that she was, because before that, we was cordial. We was, we didn't really see each other either. So it was like, I didn't really get to know her either. So it was just like, like that, you know. Okay, y'all, y'all saw the last one. I got a new one. This is Lemon Delight by Zipporah Scents. Make sure you check her out and use my code Dear the Doll to get you some good smells, okay? <laughs> so did you have, like, a lot of free time? Because to me, it seems like <laughs> I watched a 15-episode se like a 15 episode season of five days. Yes. As the recap lady, I'm telling you here first, I... Ah, uh, we had a lot of free time to do a lot of what we wanted to do. You know, when we filmed, we filmed, and um, a lot of the women wasn't in the house. So it wasn't no time for me to get to know nobody. Mm -hmm. It wasn't no time for them to get to know me. It was kind of like, that's why I hate when a lot of people say, oh, I wish we got to know the girls. How? How is we going to? Even when it came to us trying to do something, it was either one beef just couldn't get squashed or a new beef was getting started. So it was just like... All right, y'all, enough is enough. So at this point, I'm not about to just keep wasting my days on the West Coast looking at y'all. I'm going to go to the mall. I'm going to find me some free time, smoke me a little hookah, whatever. But when y'all need me, call me. It's a job. And I thought that's what I was here to do. So, Okay, okay. <laughs> so what was your favorite city you guys traveled to? Arizona. Arizona? They was lit. Why was that your favorite? They was lit as fuck. That was the most lit. like it. They was the most lit out of... Oh, like, I feel like Portland and Oregon. I bitch, was confused. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I would have thought we went to, like, Seattle or something like that. Nah. But Arizona was lit. They showed a good time. Um, people sent me bottles. Like, they was lit. That's nice. Mm -hmm. They showed but a good time. People love you. <laughs> Girl, they say that you are too cute. Thank you, thank you. So how do you feel about how they made it seem like you had a drinking problem? Like they had oh. Tommy sit down with you, and then they walk into the room with Natalie and Scotty. I'm like, this ain't fixing the problem. Is this not fixing the problem? I, the whole situation was even weird to me that that whole setup. You seemed calm when you was talking to, to Tommy, and then when the other people walk in the room, you seemed like, like okay. Because I was, girl... Oh, Razor, you're so fun in the beginning, but then when you get the casa, no, we're not going to make it seem like that. And that's what I said. We're not going to make it seem like that's a problem every single time. When this y'all bringing up a situation that is triggering and now that alcohol is involved, and then when I turn up and speak about it, that's the problem. Y'all just mad that I speak my mind a little bit more or a little bit more extra with the casa or the Don Julio. That's not my problem. But I definitely don't have no fucking drinking problem. If that's if that's the case, then I'm a functional drunk. Cause bitch, I'm close to a fucking meal. I'm <laughs> at this point, I'm I'm almost there. What makes you think that I'm a drunk that I can't even sit up here mm, try it with somebody else? Yeah, okay. Seriously. So let's talk about that last night in Oakland. <laughs> the people think you are a psychopath. <laughs> Me? The people think that you're crazy. Me? Because you were sitting in the back of the bus like that. And I'm telling them, this is like a regular a regular night on 9th Street. Like, <laughs> a shot it's a regular night. For yes. one, this is what? This is your bottle, babe. I don't <laughs> drink that. <laughs> I'm sorry, yeah. Well, honestly, Oklahoma was a lot different. Mm. Oakland. Oakland. Oh, damn. <laughs> Oklahoma. Same thing. Close. Close enough. Oh. <laughs> Close enough. But <laughs> Oakland was very different. The women, the men. Tell me the behind the scenes. Y'all knew y'all was going to that club and somebody was setting up the other. Tell me the truth. I did not know that. I did not know they were setting up anybody because we had a whole meeting. I thought we was getting clam chowder. I was actually excited for that. The, 
Tommy said these bitches want to go and get clam I did. Chowder. I'm sorry, Tommy. I wanted to fucking clam chowder because, bitch, they say it was the best of the best. And I love clam chowder. So I was actually excited. Never got the clam chowder. Start there. Then we had a little issue with the room situation. That was that. And then Tommy was mad about her bags. So did you guys' bags get searched every yes, time? Yes, all our bags got searched. Don't understand why. Don't know what the hell was going on. It was just some weird shit going on. And um, Tommy wasn't there. She went and got her nails done or, you know, she was taking care of business. And then um, when she got back, that's why she was like, why my bag still left at the door? So apparently they didn't touch her bags because they didn't want to go through it until she got there. They didn't want it to be another problem. Okay. Which I understood, but I don't know what happened in the mix of that. But... Yeah. Oakland, ghetto. It was literally like D.C. Did you get mad? You remember back in the day, the Go-Go's? No, who? Because they was no, coughing down. No, it was and the, the, the bomb thing. Back there, like, the gas bomb. What is the gas bomb? Why the fuck they got gas bomb? I don't know. It was something. I did was like choking a little bit, but it wasn't to the point how everybody was having asthma attacks. So you didn't care that the crackhead was on roadie bed. <laughs> you didn't care that they was shooting out. First of all, she had the crackhead. You cr- didn't care that Tommy no. was getting dragged off the bus at the front of the bus. First oh. of all, when I got to the bus, they left me. The, see, security wasn't security. They left me. I had to, I was gone for <laughs> dead. For real, I had to tuck my chains and I'm like, I don't know if the bitch gonna run up on me. I didn't fought the bitch. Let me hurry up. Pull my hat down so a bitch didn't recognize me. And go ahead and to the bus. I'm by myself. I have no security. They left Roly in the closet. It was crazy. Me, Krishan, Blueface on the top of the DJ booth. It's no way out. Like, I said, hell no. Let me get the fuck down. Got down. And I just started finding the exit. Next thing you know, I seen the big ass bus. Let me get my ass on that bus. I'm not looking for nobody. Security left me. <laughs> so they cut the show off at that point. Yes. Because somebody Were y'all supposed apparently to got more? shot or something. I don't know. Were you, was it supposed to be more of the show? It was, they were supposed to perform. Tommy was supposed to perform. Stanley was supposed to, Everybody was supposed to perform. Okay, what about St. Croix? Why you ain't go to St. Croix? Um, I wasn't invited. That's the truth. I the mm gives like... I wasn't invited. Okay. I knew about St. Croix. I knew they were going... But I wasn't invited. Like, I'm not going to sit here and thank the funk for nobody. Like, I wasn't invited. So how do you feel? For a reason. For a reason? Mm-hmm. Go ahead, next question. We can't name the reason. Okay, the reason cannot <laughs> I don't be know. I don't know the reason. Bitch, if you ain't signed an NDA, then you got to say it. You got to say it. I don't I don't know why they didn't invite me. At first, it was kind of like a talk, like, we want you to come to say, Corey, and la, la, la. I think it was Janisha birthday. And... That was that old family thing, because I think that's where she's from. It was like Carnival, yeah. Yeah, so it was just like, it was kind of like a talk with Natalie and a couple of other people. And it was just like, yeah, we're going to go St. Croix. Only a few of us are going, though. I already knew that. And I was like, oh, okay. And I was just like, well, let me know, like, you know, when we plan on leaving. Never knew no dates, never knew nothing. And it was literally like, I think like a week after we had left. And of course, I wasn't about to go because I wanted to go home to my man, go home to my fucking business, a lot of shit. And then I didn't get the invite. That's the honest truth. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> tell us how you feel about all the attention and memes and stuff. How you feel about going viral. Because I feel like before this, you've been a social media mm-hmm. person, right? Mm-hmm. YouTube, lives, the girls want to know your makeup routine. Mm-hmm. They want to know how you is slaying the cuts, everything. So, what's the difference? Like, Because my girl was like, I'm anxious. I'm like, fuck is you anxious about? <laughs> There is hard. It's, it's not. so hard. It is. You like, let them say whatever the fuck they want to say. I do. I do. I'm going to start snapping back. Don't. Why? It's people like me and Omar in the comments. You don't have to. That's true. That's true. And it's, it's not even just y'all, the people I know. It be weird. Like, random people, they be like, exactly. yeah, I had to try a You drag have a fan bitch on pages, girl. Like, what? <laughs> you have fan know. pages, fan TikToks, fan everything. Yeah. Granted, I don't check up on none of the other girls like this. I got to make sure my girl was taken <laughs> care of. So I'm like, damn. I'm we, always getting dragged. I get dragged get every dragged. single day. I can post that I'm eating a bagel. They're going to be like, damn, that shit going straight to her ass. <laughs> like, shit like They didn't say anything. I thought they liked the ass. Girl, bye. The they ass is crazy. ass. They goes crazy. Period. <laughs> so how's the show furthered your brand? One thing I will say also mm. is my girl does hostings and stuff like that. So a lot of people go on reality TV and aren't able to do that. So That's true. It furthered my brand in different ways. Like, I'm literally, I was booked at first, of course. 
But now I'm book book with different people. Like I got people flying in. I got somebody coming in from New Jersey. I just got a new client that came in from Detroit just to get her hair cut. So like stuff like that is exciting. You get what I'm saying? Because a lot of of course a lot of people didn't know about me. You know what I'm saying? I think I was more so based in the DMV area. I had that locked. But now that I'm international with it, like people flying in for me just to do their hair, crazy. And for me to That's fly out right. and do hostings. Like I did hostings here, probably, you know, like New York or shit like that, but to actually be flying out to different states. I ain't never fucking been. I ain't never been no damn Jacksonville. <laughs> so Girl, And they was lit. They was lit. So stuff like that, I'm grateful for. That shit is amazing. I'm happy for you. I'm happy you <laughs> took your you. opportunity and made it further because, <laughs> child, you better than most of the Instagram models, bitch. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> okay, so let's go. Why didn't you go to the reunion, Miss Razor Behavior? <laughs> Okay, y'all. I literally was on my way. I was there. And I missed my flight. I had a connecting flight, and I missed my flight on the way to L.A. And it was a lot of shit going on on the internet. And I honestly, a lot of shit was going through my head. For one, I spent fucking $8,000 on an outfit for that reunion. The fact that Zeus already plotted or had shit going on that as if like, oh, you it's gonna be this, it's gonna be that. And what but instead of what was portrayed to me over the phone, I didn't go to the reunion. I wanted to actually go to the reunion to answer these questions and not worry about a bitch over here trying to, you know, swing. I'm not I wasn't going for that because if that was the case, set set me up a boxing match and let me get paid just like how Natalie and Tommy did. If that's what y'all wanted, like that's the type of time I'm on, then yeah, we could we could box it out and then, you know, get, but not no. Not sitting how I'm sitting. No, I'm not doing that. And that was just even more of an answer for me. Like, I don't need to be there. And I wanted to be in control of my narrative and who I am as a person instead of going on a reunion and just showing them exactly who I was. I, yes, I could have went on there sober and still for It still would have been a problem. So it doesn't really matter. They already had control of the whole situation, and I didn't like that. Oh. What was the matchup? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me to match up. I ain't doing that. <laughs> okay. Well, I, you know, I'm always going to bring the internet to you. The internet, yeah. Scotty got on live. She said, mm-hmm. bitches won't get out the car. Everybody assumed you were the bitches in question. I wasn't But there. you was never in the car. I was not even in LA. Okay. <laughs> what car? That's what she said on the live, girl. And they was like, oh, Razor not at the reunion. It must have been Razor. And then that had um, me arguing with people. Was so this, you need to give me on, the wait, scoop wait, wait. beforehand. Okay, so okay. I gotta be Well, I didn't see this live. So was this the live before the reunion? This was the live, like, she was in a trailer before the reunion, I think. like. Okay, yeah, I wasn't even in L.A. The, uh, the one only live I seen something about her saying she was going to rearrange a BBL. Something like that. Everybody on the cast got BBLs. <laughs> right. So, but I had got tagged in that one. You know how, like, the Zeus T page and all mm-hmm. them, they be, they was like, who's she talking about? They must be talking about Razor, of course, and stuff like that. But that was the only live I seen of her. But did I y'all even still have an issue? I thought, I don't know. I didn't take it personal because she didn't say, Razor, I'm going to rearrange your BBL. Mm-hmm. I don't, that was indirect. I don't know who she was talking to. I don't know where it went. So I didn't take it personal. But I also, you know that we had beef, so maybe that could have been on her head. I think that she also said something in her confessionals. She was like, I can't wait until the reunion because a lot of people play like play with me or try me and stuff like that. So I don't know who she was directing that to. Natalie? Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I just don't. I didn't know. And I didn't want to jump the gun either because I already, you know, had to say what I had to say to her. Like, you're not my cup of tea and I'm not yours. Leave it at that. Like, we don't have nothing else to talk about. I don't, I don't feel wanna... like any of the girls are really your cup of tea besides Lo. Yeah. But Lo is like pretty girl, you know. Right. I, I, I was like, this myself... is my alliance. <laughs> yeah, I don't see myself like hanging with most of the girls on a So you wouldn't level. hang with them outside the show? Beside Lo and Tommy and Natalie. Okay, would you do baddies again? For more money. For more money. How was the check? It like was I nice. Tell me the- My check was nice. Okay. I don't know about other girls' check, but uh, so uh, do the pay yeah. differentiate between cast member? I think one of the girls did. Okay. Mhm. Stunner girl just said that yesterday. I'm. Just- yeah, everybody didn't get paid. I mean, it ain't no secret. Nobody got paid the same. So what's next for you? What we doing next? 
You um, still got fan questions. I'm going through yes. all my questions, baby. You still have fan questions. I plan on um, opening a hookah lounge. Really? You do love some hookah. I can see that for a, you. Or a club. I haven't really picked, but something like that. Um, I want to take acting classes. So, you never know. You never know. It might the see me people on power. love you. Take <laughs> take what you have now and take it far. Like, take it into some, so many different, different places. Because here, we already love you for, like, the hair stuff. But now mm-hmm. people love you for your personality, your tattoos, your wigs. How, how many wigs did you pack? <laughs> Ooh, I packed... About My nine. girl was changing nine. wigs between confessional scenes, I cities, did. places, and things. When Stunner had pulled my wig off, I was hot because I looked really cute. I looked like a princess. It was giving Queen of Drag. Yes, Queen of Drag. I would look just like her. I looked like I was so cute. And I was so pissed because I literally put it on that morning. But I was like, you know what? Don't even worry about it. Let me pull my curly bitch out. Give her something like a Puerto Rican, you know? And I had to do that. But I had nine wigs. Nine. And I bought one from a girl. It the was bitches' trash. wigs couldn't sit with they you. Could they could not. Like- it could not. And if I would have sucked them cornrows out, y'all, my head was healthy and good. I'm about to say, your real hair Yeah, because they try to come from my cornrows. Let me put that out there because I got hair. Okay, this is my <laughs> last question. Then I'm moving on to fan questions. How do you feel about your impact on baddies? You feel like you did it for the East Coast girls. <laughs> I think I did. I think I put a lot on for the DMV. I think I gave them something... Especially for the girls who feel like they can't do something. I feel like you sh- they should actually, like, even with the auditions coming up, I feel like everybody should go out there and try it if that is their dream. I feel like I impacted a lot of young girls, especially. Um, you know, just telling them, like, hey, what the fuck? And it takes a lot of courage to put yourself out there. Like, I get some of my friends telling me, bitch, you got a lot of balls. The drunk you, the sober you, the nice you, like... Everybody can't do that. A lot of people, especially Geminis, they like to hide and not show those signs mm-hmm. because they don't want to be called crazy or psychopath or a drunk or <laughs> these Wait type of things. So I feel like it impacted me a lot for me to just say, bitch, who gives a fuck? Do it. Because I'm still going to be me, the drunk, happy girl, the boss bitch, all of this shit. I'm, it's all me. If you mm-hmm. ain't got no haters, you ain't pop. Bitch, I got them all the time. <laughs> Definitely do. I, <laughs> child, when they first announced her for the show, I'm like, I didn't know that all you bitches don't like Razor. Fuck y'all. Can It was a lot of people. What can you not afford the bobs, the baby? <laughs> it's the best prices in the city. <laughs> I don't understand. I went up a little bit, but. <laughs> oh, did you? It wasn't much. I don't there even go. go on there, babe. If I want a bob, I'm just not getting That's one. True. <laughs> you, you know you about? can hit me up there. I got you. I got you. Hey, y'all. I'm here to introduce you to something real good in the DMV area, okay? DC area. Check out my girl, Chicha's Treats and Things, okay, y'all? So I'm not an edible eater, but I ate some of these earlier today and I was like, oh, I gotta take a nap. I gotta take it out. I was I was getting hot and bothered. But she has so many different things. She also has popcorn. I ate all the popcorn yesterday and like passed out. It was super good. So yeah, make sure y'all check her out. And we are going to tag the Instagram below. Make sure you get up with your people in the city. Y'all wanna fly away to California and bring the edibles back. Just eat the edibles here. Thank you. Okay, so these are from your fans. Okay, we um her manager put up a little questionnaire and let you guys answer. Okay, Omar. <laughs> it's giving manager. Mm-hmm. Don't play with him. He's okay. not one of them. We're going to see. Come on. Don't do that. <laughs> love you, love you. Okay, so they said, what advice do you have for small businesses? Tips. <sighs> well, like I said again, um, consistency. Um, I honestly still believe in business cards. Mm-hmm. I still believe in marketing yourself and actually speaking to any and everybody and putting yourself out there. I hate an internet entrepreneur. I hate the one about, follow me on Instagram. Follow me. Uh-uh. I want to know exactly who you are. I want you to come to me. Hi, my name is such and such. I do this. Even if you fucking sell weed, I don't give a goddamn. Make it something for them to be like, you know what? I'm actually going to come to you because it's a lot of people that come up to me nowadays and I just be like, Damn, I like how confident you are. Even if it's something I'm really not going to buy or use, I'm going to buy it because I like your confidence. I do that a lot. Yes. I bought some press-on nails from a lady. I never bought a press-on. And you Never wore a press-on. But she, her pitch was so good. Yes. I was like, I'm about to. That, <laughs> see, stuff like that. I like that. And I feel like that is something that you should definitely, you know, keep going with. Like, don't just be an internet entrepreneur. 
because you're not going to get. But it's a lot of people out here that's got money and don't have social that's media, media. Mm -hmm. like or older clientele who don't have social media. Government, you never know. They just don't deal with that. So that's my advice. Okay, so the second question was just like that, Geneva Pierre. Shout out to you. Um, they said, "How do you feel about Stunna and Scotty? Is there beef, or you just chilling?" It's no beef. I don't feel like it's no beef for what. I don't know them bitches. I don't know them to beef with them. Yeah, we had our fair share to whatever it was about, but is that real beef to me? No, no. It's not for me to be like. Can't stand that bitch when I see her or someone's like, no. Nah. It's mm -mm, not, not that much energy. I hope it's not that with them either because for what? I'm not giving miserable. I moved on. I moved on. You moving. Moving. Period. <laughs> um, they said, Razor, would you do Baddie season four? First of all, I be asking these questions before the fans do, but it's fine. Would you do Baddie season four? <laughs> also, was the Baddies West production team nice? Well, I answered that, so yes, they were 50-50, and yes, I would do it again for a bigger chat. This say, why do you get angry when you drink? By the way, you're very beautiful, Jemiah Milan. Thank you. I appreciate that. I don't get angry. I get um, picked on. People pick on me. It's not me. It's not me. Please. In denial. I'm very in denial. Please. It's not me. Um, why didn't you go to a reunion? She told us that. Are you doing good mentally? This is a fan page, Razor ZQ. <laughs> Am I doing good mentally? Yes. I'm 100% great mentally, but don't get me wrong. I still have my moments that I feel like, you know, I should have did that better. I should have said this different. Maybe I should get on live more. I, I pick myself. I literally pick my brain sometimes, but then I literally snap out of it. I don't need to have a talk sometimes. I literally snap out of it myself and be like, I don't care. Fuck it. It is what it is. I'm going to walk out here with just two cornrows in my head and not care if somebody say that's crazy behavior. <laughs> As you should. Yeah. Baby, walking the streets is hard when you're known on the fucking internet. Bitch, babe, babe. Can I get a... You be in a Taco Bell <laughs> drive through They be like, Zebra, my recap, girl. I be like... <laughs> Bitch, yeah, it's looking yeah. crazy. <laughs> Look, looking crazy. Claw clip. <laughs> um, if you could go back, what would you do differently on the show and I feel like this is your last girl I don't want to be wrong trap baby wing <laughs> yeah that's how you know I Stop stalk it. her look <laughs> <laughs> um what would I do different on the show I would be more outspoken more more they said you did too much I think so I don't hmm I think I would take the liquor out of it and be more outspoken if that makes sense like I would be trying to get to know the girls forcefully Cause that's not me. So I wanted to do something that's not me by actually walking up to them, getting to know, kind of like what Krishan did with me, like getting to know the girls, asking them more questions. Cause you never know. Everybody had different businesses. I could have learned something from them. So probably getting to know the girls more. I just didn't care to at that moment. Don't get my face on that part. <laughs> <laughs> um, how was it being on the show and running your own business at the same time? This is also Trap Baby Lane. It was hard. I had got a lot of, um, not a lot, but I definitely got some backlash from my clients and new clients that wanted to come to me, but I was on the show. So it was like, oh, you canceled me. Oh, you did this. This is the thing about life. <laughs> Hold on. That, pause. Rewind. There's a lot of people, like some of my, you know, I have some older clientele. They did not know that I was on the show. They've so. lived their life though. <laughs> There. <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> no offense to my clients. I mean, no offense to y'all because y'all be getting a cute, co a cute color. But, but they, yes, they literally was like mad at me. They were like, what the fuck? I need my hair done. I come to you every week. What do you mean you want on a show? Can I pull you up on something? Yeah. Last time I saw you, I got my hair done for my mother's birthday. Mm -hmm. And I said, what are your goals right now? You said, I'm trying to like. It was a money thing. She said, I'm trying to reach, like, I don't know. I don't know if it was 100 bands, baby. I don't know which one it was. I'm almost but crazy. then we see the next time. I see you next time. You tell me that you're going to go on this show. And I'm, like, nervous. Not going to lie to you. Because I know you personally. Yeah. I was nervous. I never seen you act that way before. Right? Mm -hmm. 
So I think that you, people have to respect that about you, that you went out on a limb and went and did your own thing. Like, I was telling the girls on the timeline, like, babe, you're not getting a bob for about five months. You're just going to have to hold on to the hairstyle you got now. Yes. Like, and I think it's because I, I fucked up. I didn't tell my clients. I just was literally like, y'all, I'm taking off for a month. Why they don't watch Zeus? They would have known. Some people knew. Some people don't. The That's auditions was weeks before. They would have known. Yeah. But a lot of people who seen the audition, they was like, bitch, that's why you fucking take it off. Because you about to go on this show. And I was just like, y'all. But yeah. you're not a rescheduled lady. You're not a hey boo girl. So they no, can go ahead and I'm just not. relax. And just giving me a hard time. So I wish that I could have balanced my business. Better. You heard it here first. If you giving her a hard time, <laughs> I want to see you at the Baddies East auditions. Let me see you multitask <laughs> your business and your everyday life. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> They said, how do you feel about the way editing makes things look bad when it really isn't like that? You ever had some moments you was watching the show and you been like, that didn't even happen like that? Mm-hmm. Majority of the show. 75% of the show. Hmm. Did not happen like that. Tell me about that second fight with Low and Razor. That third. Low and Razor. I mean, Low and, uh. <laughs> it was like me and Low for. Low and Krishan. Hmm. Uh, Low and Krishan. That was never shown to us. I did not did see you miss it coming. It? I was right there on the edge of the couch, looking cute. Was right I'm talking about the third one that we never oh. saw. Oh, oh, what she got her lick by. I seen a clip, like meaning I seen her reach over in security. But from what I seen, she did hit um, Krishan, from what I seen. But it wasn't like a how Krishan got her... Licking. It, she didn't get a fair lick back, but she got a lick back. You want to know the whole time what I was scared of? That you was going to fight Krishan, bitch. I was scared. Why? Because nobody wants to see that. Me and Krishan fight? Yes. Why? I don't want to see fight anybody. I don't think... Mm, I don't think me and Krishan would have fought because of the simple fact that it's it's a mind thing with Krishan. You really have to understand her on a mental level meaning it's an energy thing just like i was saying like you have to connect with a person in order to know that if you already like i was telling love you see a person scooting up you scoot Poor up baby she missed that so that's what i'm saying so it's a it's a, a connection thing like if i already seen a person moving a certain type of way even with this situation with me and scotty once i told a bitch to run up oh this bitch ready to fight that's that's what it means she was confused she was like huh what you mean run up like they don't speak like that but that's what i'm saying so it's just I, what do you mean but it's clear words run up maybe she, up. she was telling her to run a marathon run no a no no <laughs> like it's clear run place. so I, I just feel like i don't think that would never happen but i wish they're actually cool now they're really good friends and i'm happy for that oh that's nice that's they, they want the super bowl together they want they, they're friends now oh that's good mm -hmm. I love that for them. Yeah. Krishan was very positive this season. She was. How did you feel about meeting Krishan and off the internet? It was a total different vibe that I thought I was going to get. And guess what? She's actually a genuine person. She actually, like, even when I was going through my little personal shit um, behind the scenes, she was actually the person to walk in the room and she'll just be like, don't know what the fuck going on. It'll be okay. Literally. <laughs> she'll just be like, it'll be okay. Just pray and everything will be fine. And she'll just walk out the room. And I'll just be like, you know, I She's giving you fairly, to... fairly off. Yes. She's just like, you know, like, I'm happy for you. No matter what's going on, she was just like, wait until the show is over. So I can't say that to Krishan. Like, she's definitely one of the persons to say, when the show is over, you're going to be lit. She was like, you're going to be lit. She's like, I don't know how lit you are already, but at the same, you're going to be lit. Just watch. So I'm grateful for that. She was very positive the whole entire I'm time. I'm happy for that. So they said, did you hang with anyone after the show? This is at Overstems. Um... Low. That's it. Okay. And Natalie, yeah. What age were you when you started getting tats? <laughs> Would you do a tattoo tour at the Stunaway? Okay. I would, yeah, I'll definitely do a tattoo store, um, tour. 13. Was my first age of getting a tattoo. Girl, I'm in these streets, honey. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. <laughs> seriously. Um... They say, are you going to be at the Baddies East auditions at JXNRZ? You might. I might. I might. Never know. Okay. <laughs> you never know. I might. I might not. 
So is there anything that you feel like I've missed that you want to tell? Because this is supposed to be your side of the story, your everything. I need you to... I feel like you honestly went over everything. And I actually said everything that I need to say far as, like, you know, a, me being in control of who I am and not allowing the show to say this is who I am. Because I feel like a lot of people, they see me on social media, they really don't know me. But I go on these interviews, I talk to you personally or anybody, my best friend or my significant other, and I just be like, you know what, baby, like, I wish they would see a different side. He was like, well, start going on interviews, start telling them, answer all your fans' questions, get on live, whatever it may take for them to see the other side and then do something different for them to be like, damn, Razor is not only just a drunk. Or <laughs> she's not just crazy or whatever the, whatever the narrative is. But that's so. like a new thing. Like, I feel like yeah. whatever the people hear, it was an old video. I don't know if you want to address that old video from Baltimore. The people here were assuming whether or not you were a fighter oh. from that video. Right? When I got jumped. I've never seen this video. Yeah. Well, we so I, I, I had got jumped and um, it is what it is. So when you, I never backed down, never said no. When you get jumped, you're fighting multiple people. Mm-hmm. It, I don't feel like that's going to be a win. Yeah, a lot of people, I think I seen a little bit of the comments and it was just like, yeah, but you still got dogged or whatever the case may be. I don't expect a lot of people to, I don't know if you're the credible hawk or you're a motherfucking UFC fighter and you're just going to be kung fu and bitches all over. No, you're fighting multiple bitches. But She that's said, what if be. it was you? <laughs> if it was you, it was just, you know, it's always going to be something different. Don't get me wrong. If it was a one-on-one, I'm pretty sure it would have been different. I don't see a one-on-one fight going around the internet saying that. But they don't want to pull those fights out. They want to pull out, oh, let's pull out the fight that Razor got jumped. But they never want to pull out a one-on-one fight. And it's a lot of those videos I know about. So I've never seen a video of you in a fight. I don't know if the people know I'm your friend. They they, they <laughs> don't want to put me in on the gossip. Even in high school, well, like I've people know me. Like, I've seen you fight in high school, but I've seen it in person. I didn't right. really know you. Right. Nothing else tells a secret. <laughs> it's a secret. You know, it's always a secret. <laughs> What's the secret? We gonna see. I don't have a secret though. Why would you choose to come here and have Razor's reunion? Because that's what I'm going to name this episode: Razor's reunion. Because you're my bitch. Of course. <laughs> the people I think you. I'd be lying. They do. They feel like Mm-mm. they be like she. You don't know her for real. You're my bitch. I and I'm like, why it. would I do that? Yeah, I would have it no other way. I feel like. Um, you personally would have just grabbed everything out of me without me feeling like is there going to like try to flip that shit or manipulate my situation or whatever case may be. So it was a genuine love. Like I was like, let me just hit up Dara and let her have control of this one. I, if anybody have control of my narrative, bitch, it better be you. <laughs> so I'm trusting you. The people already <laughs> said you too biased. You don't you don't do her like you do the others. No, I said I told yeah, y'all bitches when she showed up on that screen on them auditions. I I I She ate me up. You ate me up in text messages and bitch pull it together. Get it together. <laughs> like you did it plenty of times. The and first I was like, episode okay. that she actually like went off, I text her Baby is out on vacation in Miami. Baby yeah. ain't worried about them episodes. I'm like, hey, can you call me? She, she like, I'm like, you stressing me. Oh, girl, I'm on my balcony smoking a J off that. <laughs> I'm like, you stressing me you out? Me. Because in this area, the people like, girl, the people is on Twitter like, Dear ain't going to say shit about Monique because she likes her and da 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 And it and is. And that's what the fuck it is. I'm like, you bitches get up here and do recaps. But that's not true because get. honestly, you you get in my ass, rather if it's on TV or off TV, and that's the type of people that you need in your circle. I, you just don't be like, yeah, bitch, you that. No, you tell me right from wrong. Like, bitch, get it together. Don't think that way. Yeah, Mo, you might have been wrong. You might have overthought that situation, but just calm down. But those are the type of people that you need in your circle, and that's they don't have them type of people. They got bitches that's kissing their ass and do anything they say, and that's why the fuck they with their in their life. They got strangers. Mm-hmm. I feel like that. That's You have friends. Leeches. Ooh. You know how them go. Leeches. So I hope y'all enjoyed y'all time with Miss Razor Behavior up yeah. close and personal, looking <laughs> beautiful as always. Thank you. I am honored. <laughs> Thank you, baby. I appreciate you. I'm going to cry. Oh, don't fucking no, cry. No, I'm not. I don't want to mess up my makeup. <laughs> Did you do your makeup on your own? No, I didn't. Shout oh, out to Keeping to Up With Mari. Yeah. Oh, she's good. Yes. She moved to Atlanta? No. And... No? No, she wants to, but she didn't. Oh, she's okay. She's Keeping Up With Mari on Instagram. Yeah. 
Yes, keeping up with Mari. Shout out to keeping up with Mari. <laughs> and my girl's whole look, always looking fashionable. I know they was tired of me. Every recap, I'm like, <laughs> yes, bitch. Come through. Look always. I'm going to give a bitch a look. So. I hope to see you do more great things in the future, host things, everything else. Thank and you. I'm proud of you. From Thank me to you. you. Very proud. Do your drop. Tell them your social media, where to find you, and everything like that. And tell them you checking in with Henny T. with her. <laughs> Thank you. It's your girl, Razor Behavior here. I'm always going to be here for my girl, fucking Dara. Love you fucking dearly. Thank you for this fucking opportunity. Um, follow me at I Am Razor Behavior, and I'm with your girl, Henny T. Period. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <Her yet. laughs> Oh, no, no.